Hey guys, Brad Burkhart here from Killer Bass Guide Service and Killer Bass Baits, Bass Pro Shops, Nitro Pro. Wanted to knock out another Where's the Bite video. Uh, we covered uh, Norris in March, and I thought that this time we would go over Douglas. That's where I've been spending most of my time this last month, the uh, the month of April, and uh, thought I'd just kind of give you a rundown of what's been going on. We've been catching a lot of big fish over there. Uh, this part of the month, it's all been mostly post-spawn. But thought I'd give you a rundown of what's going on and the baits that I've been using on Douglas and the types of areas I've been covering. Uh, like I said, early in the month, it was all pre-spawn. This latter part of the month, we're getting into a lot of post-spawn fish. But the areas are pretty much the same. The places I've been targeting on Douglas have been secondary points uh, back in, not necessarily creeks, but big major spawning bays. If it is a creek, it seems, it seems that it's been better if it is a creek. Uh, if it's got some kind of tributary coming into it, but most of it's been secondary points and secondary banks inside those creeks. But there's a certain type of uh, bank or rock that I'm looking for. And uh, this time of year over there on Douglas and on a lot of our lakes, I'm looking for shale, uh, the steeper 45 degree shale banks for some reason. Uh, we have a large population of smallmouth and largemouth that spawn on that stuff around here. And uh, Douglas Lake is, is no different. Uh, those big largemouth, you know, they, they, they'll move in and they'll stage on those places. Maybe they'll go to the backs and spawn. Some will spawn right there. And then they'll also post-spawn and they'll, they'll come back to those places or just back off a little bit and heal up good and feed up good and then make their way to their summer hunts. But those are the places that I've been targeting on Douglas and I've probably put in, I don't know, I'm gonna say about 15 days or so uh, in the month of uh, in the month of April on Douglas. And that's pretty much the all the types of places I've been targeting. There are fish already out deep on Douglas in the month of April like they are every year. But uh, I tend to try to stay in those areas, I, especially around a moon, if we're gonna have a new moon cycle or a full moon, I try to stay in those areas. I want to be where the fish are coming not where they're going away from. I want to be where they're coming in. And, and those, those, uh, those steep shell banks like that in those creeks, those secondary banks and points and places like that, that's just where they come to and maybe set up for pre-spawn and they come back out and they set up on post-spawn. So the baits that I've been using, okay? Number one, my favorite bait to throw this time of year in the, in the month of April is a chartreuse and white killer bass bait spinner bait. Now I'm a little partial to, to a killer blade for obvious reasons, but in my opinion, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, chartreuse and white is just a staple color. They're always gonna bite this dude just about anywhere you're at, unless it's crystal clear. I always throw double willa. The swing blade's gold. The long blade is nickel. Uh, they got four out mustad hooks in them, so you're not gonna lose them. Now, as far as trailer, get a lot of questions on trailers. Hey, do I do this, do I do that? Do I use, do I use a trailer, do I not? Uh, I do. I always use a Zoom Fat Albert on my spinnerbait. That's just me. You may find something that works better for you, but that's what I throw. And right there is the way I rig it. And I always put, put my grub on where the tail will turn toward the hook. As you can see, I don't want my tail like this. I want my tail like that when I thread it on. And I just thread it on right there, okay? But that to me is my number one search bait early in the month of April as I throw this dude a lot, chartreuse and white, okay? There's the packaging. If you're wondering, if you see it in stores, that's what it's gonna be look like in a pack. Also, the second bait that I throw a lot in the month of April, and it's a really fun bait to throw, and I may be turning a secret loose here, is a long eight, but I'm good for that. I like to give secrets out. I like to tell you stuff that's gonna help you catch fish. This is a long A, and as far as a springtime topwater bait, it doesn't get much better. This thing is marketed as a jerk bait. It's horrible. It's the worst jerk bait, period. But when it comes to a weight bait and making that old butt wiggle on top of the water, this dude is awesome. I do a few things different. I put a bigger hook on the front. I change the hook in the middle, and I put a small number six on the back like you'd have on a shad wrap. So I put a bigger hook on the front, keep the same in the middle, but I usually change it because it comes with those rotating trebles and I just like a straight round bend treble. And then also on the back, 
I'll put a number six like you'd have on a shad wrap. So it's weighted nose forward. And I throw this thing, here's a big secret. I throw it on a spinning rod actually. But I throw it on braid. Now some of you old school guys out there, y'all know Long A's been working for many years and we used to throw it on eight and 10 pound mono so the line would float good. You can throw it a country mile cause they're aggravating this sin to throw. They tumble in the air. It's like trying to throw a long shad wrap. I mean, it's ridiculous. But if you put these dudes on braid, you can throw them a country mile. And when one gets it, you don't have to play with it. Cause if you can see right there, I use 15 pound test braid. So that's about the same thing you're gonna be throwing a spinner bait on. And when they come up and get that dude, you ain't gotta play around with them much. You can reel them to the boat unless they're a giant. So I use that on my long A. Okay, so we've talked about a spinner bait, we've talked about a long A, and I can't leave out the old jig, okay? This time of year, when you do get around a moon phase, and you're rolling that spinner bait down one of those uh, shell banks, and one comes up and just knocks the fire out of it, but he doesn't need it, you need to remember that little spot, and when you come back out of the creek, flip this dude in there. Because obviously it was a female, she's coming up and just trying to run it off. All right, so I fish this a lot in the spring. This is uh, J. Crawl. The other color I use is Mud Bug. A lot of you guys know that's that's uh, probably one of my better selling uh, jigs on the website is Mud Bug. It's a green pumpkin color. But stick with these three baits this time of year. Do a lot of searching with that spinner bait. You can also do a lot of searching on those same steep shell banks with the long A, get right up parallel to it now, okay? Remember, don't put your boat way out in the middle of the creek and throw in. You're only in the strike zone five or six foot. This time of year, especially the month of April, them dudes is gonna be up shallow, 10 foot or less. Get your boat in there, parallel, get with it, and make those casts down the side of the bank. Keep your bait in the strike zone as long as you can. So, your two search baits, the spinner bait, the long A, and when you're getting bites but they're not committing, you can slow down and start chunking a jig around them, and anytime you get around some wood, like a big tree laying in the water or whatever, man, flip this spinner bait around that tree also. I mean, uh, this jig, I'm sorry. Flip this jig around that tree also. But these are the three baits that I use this time of year. I love it. This is actually, I think today's the last day of April, the 30th of April, and I just got in, we fished this afternoon, and I'm already catching them on a horny toad in trash pockets. So that's probably what we may get into next month, the month of May. We'll talk about some junk fishing, which I love to do. We'll talk about some junk fishing, and we'll also talk about some deep stuff, because I'm sure that the phone's gonna start ringing and we're gonna start catching them on the old Strike King 6XD or the old Hot Lips or whatever you want to chunk. My name is Brad. I appreciate you guys watching these things. I couldn't believe how many views we had on the last one. Blows me away because I'm just a redneck hillbilly that enjoys fishing. Uh, if you guys are interested in getting better, if you want to book a trip or whatever, you know, shoot me a message on Facebook. Like my page, Killer Bass Guide Service. You can uh, like Killer Bass Baits and also me, Brad Burkhardt, on Facebook. I uh, appreciate you listening, guys. I hope uh, some of these things, you know, kind of help you out. Again, this is for our April, where's the bite? That's where the bite's been for me this month of April. I'm looking forward to May. Hope you guys have a great weekend. God bless. Catch you on the flip side.